Okay, you guys, Trey, why don't you get down there real close to the belly? Okay, just kind of just touch it like this? Or That's great. Well, well, why don't you get a little close? Get your face down close to the belly. Get my face right where you Yeah, get your face down yeah, close to it. Next, I don't really want to. Next to your son, next to your son. Yeah, yeah. ooh, is, yeah. that's good. That's yeah. good. Ooh, this maybe, is kind of emasculating. Yeah. Katie, you smile. Trey, try to look less passive and maybe make the face that you think the baby's making. Good. <laughs> <laughs> That's his butt. I don't. Oh, yeah. No, I'm, I'm buttoning some. Yeah, Get just, in there. Just a few. No, yeah. No, I don't want to. She has a weird Audi. I don't want anyone to see that. I, this got, is don't, beautiful. I okay. grew this. Trey, why don't you come behind her and uh, kind of grab her from behind, yeah, kind of yeah, like yeah, Titanic, okay, but if she yeah. was choking, okay. kind of Heimlich yeah. maneuver. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah, make like a heart on my belly. Make it's a, so cute. Yeah. This is, yeah. I can hardly get. No offense, but she's uh, it's bigger than me. I can, yeah, can't Trey, even can see me. Can you try and look? No, it's a beautiful thing. You're creating. Trey, can we just take a normal photo? Okay. Oh, oh no, 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 not under there. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, folks. We did that was a maternity shoot inspired skit that we we did. Katie undressed, we showed her stomach. I did not undress. Oh, okay, no, you didn't. Um but kinda. I showed like a couple inches yeah. of my stomach that I grew it's very hot. Well, over the last nine months. And we're back <laughs> in studio. Chiefs won the Super Bowl. Woo! Happy for uh, the town of Kansas City. And we're going to have a great episode for y'all. We'll see. Katie, we'll, she might go into labor. So it I should might. be fun. Let's roll music. Correct opinion. Correct opinion. This show is sponsored by Better Help. When you're at your best, you, oh, you can just do anything. Oh yeah, and climbing mountains. Yeah. Literally and metaphorically. Mm-hmm. But when you're feeling down, when you're feeling out, therapy could be a great, great benefit. I've done therapy, I'm a big fan, and better helps change the way it's done. If you're thinking of giving therapy a try, try out better help. It's convenient, flexible, affordable, entirely online. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Katie and I did some therapy together. I've done it solo. It's great. So we have an offer for you guys. If you want to live a more empowered life, therapy can get you there. A more what life? Empowered. Got it. Uh, visit betterhelp.com slash correct today to get 10% off your first month. That is right. All right. Do, please don't laugh when you do the last part, please. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com <laughs> slash correct. <She> did. <laughs> <laughs> What's better than finding quality candidates? Finding them instantly for a powerful hiring partner you need indeed. Indeed is the hiring platform where you can attract, interview, and hire all in one place. Indeed's got a little something called Instant Match. It's not at all like what it sounds like. It will match you with people instantly. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can uh, invite candidates to apply through Instant Match. And if they do that, they are three times more likely to apply to your job than candidates who only see it in search. So take that, other people. Uh, you're going to want to check out Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed knows when you're growing your own business, you have to make every dollar count. That's why you. That's why with Indeed, you only pay for quality applications that match your must-have job requirements. So visit Indeed.com slash Trey to start hiring now. Just go to Indeed.com slash Trey. Katie, one more time, that last line. Indeed.com slash Trey. Terms and conditions apply. Cost per application pricing not available for everyone. Need to hire? You need, you need Indeed. Indeed. What shows up right to your door is delicious and makes your life easier? Jake, uh, first guess? I, nothing. I, I can't think of anything that does that in this entire world. Ooh, I know. Daily Harvest. Oh, Daily Harvest. so stupid. They deliver delicious harvest bowls, soups, flatbread, snacks, smoothies, lattes, and more built on organic fruits and vegetables right to your door. Katie, what's been your favorite? We've been getting some. We ordered some more. Oh, yeah. I ordered more because I loved it so much. I had this like broccoli cheddar harvest bowl. Also, the artichoke flatbread. We did have Very that. Very good. That was nice. Yeah. Um... They work directly with farmers to source the best ingredient, freeze them at, freeze them at peak ripeness to lock in flavor and nutrients. Never anything artificial, preservatives, ingredients. You guys will love it. So we have an offer for you guys. We use this offer. Saved us money. Let Daily Harvest do more so you can do less. Go to dailyharvest.com slash tray to get up to $40 off your first box. That's dailyharvest.com slash tray for up to $40 off your first box. Dailyharvest.com slash tray. First and foremost, Katie, you know, it is Valentine's Day. <clears throat> As we record this, hope everyone's is celebrating. I wanted to give you a little something oh, wow. for the podcast that I thought you'd love. Wow. You ready? I'm going to throw oh, it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I. The, yeah, the, go ahead. Rip its head off. <laughs> the two things I love the most 
stuffed animals and rabbits. Yes. Win win. Wow. Happy Valentine's Day. You give um, you a little uh we'll Pete, give you a little baby cute little rabbit. PETA can't cancel her now. Look, she's mm-hmm. got a yeah, stuffed look at bunny this, rabbit. PETA. <laughs> See? She loves it. Give it a kiss. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh Valent- you doing anything for Valentine's Day? You know, uh last night it was about 10 p.m. and Rachel said, oh, "By the way, what are we doing tomorrow?" And I was like, "What do you mean?" <laughs> and she was like, "Like like during the day I'm recording the podcast." She's like, "No, like Valentine's Day. And I was like, oh, mm. well, I knew you meant that. Oh, you meant two <laughs> days after Chief's Day? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I, no, I knew I knew what you're asking. I was just leading up. I was starting at the, in the morning, and I was going to build up to it. So uh, the answer is, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I got a few hours until she's off you work. Do. Yeah. Now, J- I do have a hypothetical. Katie, don't listen. Katie, don't listen. But between us, yeah, Jake, yeah. family man. Just the guys. If, let's say, if... You happen to be in an interesting line of work where you would shoot content, comedic content, and yeah. you would need props for that content. And you you try to s- go with what's currently happening. So you shoot a Valentine's shoot, and you have a bunch of Valentine's props in the shoot. Got it. Okay. Now, uh, Katie, don't listen. Now, could you take all those chocolates and the cards and flowers and repurpose that material to give to your wife for actual Valentine's? Um, do you think she would notice? Do you think that she'd be bothered by that? Or do you think she'd say... Yeah, two birds, one stone. I like how you did that. You 100% should do that. Okay. And the response will 100% be, wow, how efficient. Thanks for saving us money. You lo- I love when you kill two birds, one stone. Thank you. Yeah. That's what I think. That's what I thought would happen. <laughs> okay. Animals. Katie, you can listen again. Yeah. This is the problem. Uh, what? Uh, what? Oh. She was talking to her rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We were just kind of having it. This is the problem. <laughs> yeah. I liked, uh, they asked Patrick Mahomes, like, what are you doing for Valentine's Day? And, you know, he's like, well, I, ha, I haven't really thought about it. You know, <laughs> the poor guy just won a Super Bowl. But he does feel like he has a gal who she's let's not. She's like, just because you want a Super Bowl. Can you imagine in there like marital arguments? Mm-hmm. He wakes up, you know, he's hung over. He's had however many Coors Lights. He's been partying in she's like, Phoenix. So you're the MVP of the NFL, but not even of this household. <laughs> yeah. She's like, jo- oh, jo- oh, I'm Patrick. I want a Super Bowl. It's Valentine's Day. <laughs> Most guys are like, babe, I've just been busy. He's like, babe, I've just been so busy at work. She's like, Patrick, swamped. Drive, it's always work. Drive me down the field. Mm-hmm. What about that? Yeah. It's Valentine's Day. <laughs> red zone, this. Red, you're obsessed <laughs> with the red zone, but not my red zone. Flowers? Oh, no. Candy? I don't think it's just flowers for her. <laughs> Expensive flowers? Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking some Gucci, some Fendi. Mm. Yeah. Jealous? Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> what does Fendi make? Um, it's not car that. parts. Bumpers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's right. Uh huh. Yeah. Designer car. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, Valentine's. Yeah, well, we kind of do it because it's Super Bowl and Katie's birthday, all and Valentine's all in a week now. Oh yeah. So it's tough. <laughs> yeah, really hard stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> now imagine that. Now we might have a, another person's birthday in, within that two week span. Oh my! Two birthdays, Super Bowl. Because Chiefs win the Super Bowl every year, yeah. Which is going to start to get annoying. And then you got you're the like, parade. Uh, There's yeah, another the parade, and you're like, gosh, oh, I can't keep up with all this. <laughs> We're joking, but it's like if when your city's this good at sports, like the people of Boston experience with Tom Brady and the Patriots, like three years ago in Kansas City, first Super Bowl in 50 years. I mean, the it felt like the town was going to burn to the ground. It's unbelievable. It was so awesome. And this year, it's like, well, in the Super Bowl for the third time in four years. Maybe we just, I guess, let's just go to someone's house. I, don't I could know. go to the parade, but it's going to be a little cold. Why don't just go to the next I one? next year. If it's warmer next year. Mm-hmm. Well, the parade, what, two two years ago, three years ago, whenever that was, was it like freezing, wasn't it? It, it was, was, it was still snowing. 20 degrees. Like, we got to be there. <laughs> yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that one that was, was cool. actually on my birthday, that parade was. <laughs> Happy oh. birthday. I, birthday. I worked. And then everyone else took off work, and oh, I was just working on my birthday, and everyone was Katie. like having she didn't fun. Have the PTO. So yeah. I was like, "See ya, babe. I'm gonna go party at the parade." Yeah, everyone was hanging out together on my birthday except me. Oh yeah, we got together like 10 a.m. We had made like pancakes and mimosas. Yeah. We went downtown. I was pretty sad. And then this year, I was like, "Ah, I kind of got some things to do." Yeah, which we saw each other that day. Always fun when we see each other in public. Yeah, we saw each other hey. Saturday. Yeah, in public, kind yeah, of. we did. It was kind of fun. Were you shocked to see me there? A little bit. We played a little pickup football. Yeah. 
Do y'all do that a lot? No. Oh, okay. Not very often. So we have uh, obviously plenty of mutual friends in the area and stuff, small world. And I, buddy of mine was like, we're playing like touch football. And I was like, oh, I haven't done that in probably eight years. It's like 50 degrees that I'm day. Like, Why not? I'm going to go. Mm-hmm. And uh, I may have overestimated my athletic prowess because I'm also, I'm, I'm get, trying to get in shape and being a little bit of a runner boy. I've been running. And I, I had in my head, I was going to go get like eight or 10 miles in. Mm-hmm. Just I'm starting to low key enjoy that. But then this hit me. So I was like, OK, curveball. I'm going to go run five and then go play football. Oh, wow. I didn't realize. So I showed did. up and probably the like third possession. I made a cut and my calves just went. <laughs> and for the next hour, my calves are just like <laughs> contracting every time I activate them. And um, I finally I think y'all played a little more. I was like, I've got to call it, man. I've been barely been able to. <laughs> A little disappointed in myself. This but. is interesting knowing this information now. So how it, eventually, I think we had 20 people show up. So we're like, all right, let's do like four teams here. We we decide captains. I'm one of the captains. I, I get the first pick. I chose Trey Kennedy. Yeah. Now, had that, I known he had ran confidence. five miles beforehand, <laughs> yeah. I don't think he would have been my first you know, pick. I, I didn't know 80% of the guys there. I didn't feel comfortable being like, just FYI, guys, I just came from a five-mile job. <laughs> So I'm not at my best. Like, how annoying is that guy? <laughs> so I was just like, oh, I'll just kind of keep going. But so you were you were very shocked when I picked you. You go, me, Trey? <laughs> like, yeah. There's like, the there was like 15, 22 year old dudes out there. <laughs> so it was a big confidence boost. And yeah. and you were not the MVP. We lost no. every game together. We lost every game. Oh. Yeah. We did not Yikes. do great. Uh, it was close, though. But mm. neck and neck mm. mm-hmm. could have gone either way. You guys should have split it up purely by age. That would have been interesting. <laughs> yeah. It's like your total age has to add up to 100. So you get some young guys, some old guys. Mm-hmm. It is crazy. It's been several days since then. And like my feet, I feel like I've been, I'm like a Chinese ballerina <laughs> who's been put through foot binding. And it's like my feet have not fully spread out yet. They're still like curled up. Mm. Yeah. Among other happen. stuff that's going on. Every time I sneeze, I'm like, no, 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 no. Because then it just shin- sends tremors down my like rib cage. <laughs> That'll happen. It was touch football. Touch just football. FYI. Well, we're getting after it. It was fun, though. Good time. Beautiful. Um, okay. Well, everyone has this great Valentine's Day. We've uh, added a couple shows. TreyKinder.com slash tour. Late shows in Salem. Mm. Shout out the witch trials. <laughs> and... I should Grand Rapids. Ah, GR. Yeah, the people up north. They're they're chomping at the bit. Good. So thanks, guys. Um, have pre sale now. You Let's code grow up. Uh, sold tickets for. I'll say it in a way where no one else will know. Mm. Addison May, Wisconsin way. Have you released those tickets? Oh yet? no, that <laughs> okay. that, that, that's a bit solidified. <laughs> ah, well, good thing it's just between you and I. Is that a little pig Latin? Smart. Nope. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Our own little code that we have. <laughs> We're only we talk. Um, reviewing some comments and stuff. One of my favorite comments of all time. Someone just simply commented, Katie is, equals Elmer Fudd. <laughs> 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 Not like the way Katie hunts down rabbits reminds me of Elmer Fudd. Just yes. Katie equals Elmer Fudd. Yeah, there's a lot of different ways you I could take that. The so. way she talks, the way she looks. Yeah, mm-hmm. my laugh. I mean, what is it? That it's, is. But it's really funny because we're we're gonna name our son Elmer. <laughs> Elmer. The glue. The cartoon. Uh-huh. The fud. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people enjoyed Katie reading the ads. Yeah, they did. So, you're just killing it. Wow, I found a new talent, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Katie equals Elmer Fudd. That is yeah. really funny. <laughs> oh man. Uh, so thank you all for blowing up the comments. Chill, go check out the YouTube channel. Give us reviews, all that good stuff. Um, and let's keep going. What what a, what was Sam Smith up to? What he did it again? Where is he at this time? Yeah. So I can't remember. Did we talk about this on the podcast? Or was it off the podcast? Just like he was like big big Satan boy at the Grammys, right? And he everyone the, was all up in arms. Yeah. Like, is he? Yeah, Derek, pull up this next outfit. Yeah. yeah. And and then you called it, which you're on a roll. Joe Mixon, Sam Smith, you're like, hey, here's the thought. Maybe he just is desperate for attention. Yeah. And bingo, hit the nail on the head. Check it, check it out on YouTube. Derek's pulling it up now. But he showed up to some event. Doesn't matter what it is. There Looking it is. like that. Oh, it looks like the Brit Awards. Of course, we all know the he, Brit he Awards. He looks like a king of spades. <laughs> Queen of spades. Is that more appropriate? 
they of spades. What's right? In, yeah, I was gonna say what's right between a king and a queen. I don't know what he it looks is. Like the, he looks like the they of spades. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty proud of that one. That's Let's right, clip that. Right. <laughs> uh, he can't even <laughs> sit in that outfit. It, you know, yeah, I don't know what he does in that outfit. But here we are talking about it. I mean, that's the whole thing. He wants attention. So. We're giving it to him. He just looks like a, a big old balloon that's shaped in a weird yeah, way. Who and conceives this stuff? It's I mean, the artistry of it is very impressive, right? I mean, that is art. Oh, is it? Okay. It, okay, Katie. I'm not sure if it's Pride like a. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's like a daily outfit, actually usable. Oh, outfit, is that right? It wouldn't but be. But like the the <laughs> construction of making an outfit like that is pretty impressive. From an engineer like yourself. You got to respect that. Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. This is what we have to decide <laughs> as Ameri- American people. <laughs> what? You tired? Yeah. All right. <laughs> the walking just hilarious. Isn't it? Oh, yeah. that's embarrassing. It's funny. Like the, you see him like styling in between. He's just kind of like looks annoyed, and, like scratches his head. Just still a human being, just acting crazy. That's what I was going to say. Like as Americans, we needed to decide what is art and what is just so different than anything we've ever seen because not everything that's weird can just be called art i went down you a rabbit hole yeah keep going sorry well yeah you can't just like be a homeless guy and have vomit on your shirt and call that art but if maybe sam smith did it we'd be like Ooh, Ooh. vomit on a shirt i i recently saw a clip of uh i think it's eddie murphy he bought some expensive painting from someone famous a while back and because of then that art then that Artist passed away unexpectedly and years down. Now it's worth like a hundred million dollars. Oh, Eddie Murphy has it. Okay. And I went down this rabbit hole of just like uh, the most expensive art. It's always like the artist has died, right? So it, that makes it, I guess, more exclusive because he can't, can't make, make it another one. But, but I still, you look at some of these, this, this is the mm-hmm. one Eddie Murphy owns. That's worth a gazillion dollars. And you know, it's like, okay, that's cool. It looks good. But what, well, why a hundred do, I can't wrap my head around art me. or any of it. I just don't get it. We should interview an art collector or something. Or just like, is it just like, is it like anything? Or just humans assign it value, so it has value, probably, I guess. But I don't know. I know like the the elite wealthy, they're all in like co- collecting art. I don't know why. I don't know what's going on. But I know it's valuable. I have no art. I have. Do we have art in our house? No, it you almost do. ended our marriage trying you, to find a piece of art. You do have art, hand painted art, actually. Katie's an artist. People yeah. don't realize. Mm-hmm. We're still working on that piece of art. We're gonna hang in the living room. Yeah, that's why we bought another piece to um, uh, just hold it. Maybe, place. maybe you, Katie's being smart here. She can paint, but she likes to paint one painting every decade. So maybe she's it's, just trying to drive up the value. It is super valuable. It's very let me rare. Tell you. Very <laughs> it's rare. Very valuable. <laughs> she's a great painter, but she won't do it. Shame. I, yeah. I it's just boring. I mean, TikTok's more fun. No, that's not it. I don't know. I think I just like tell myself I need to have like this like long stretch of time. Like I need to have like, you know, six hours to really work on this. Ooh. And that's just not that Let's realistic. Do it. We're so. going to do it. We're about, we're about to be stuck at home with a baby for a while. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to, I'm going to learn. I'm going to get better at an instrument that I'm going to mean to do them, but I'm going to put off. And you're going to paint. Deal? Okay. I feel like we're going to be kind of busy. I don't know. How does that? No. I read of, <laughs> I read of how to raise a baby book, and I got it all figured out. Oh, okay. Great. I'm mm-hmm. glad that you have that figured out. He'll be sleeping through the night by week six. Well, Great. I mean, that instrument you'll be playing is a little lullaby. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know. I was like, <laughs> instrument, huh? You play it beautifully. I did read in the little book this morning how you're encouraged to sing to the baby. Oh, I'll let you do that. You have a better voice than me. I want to lit, 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 lit you from it. <laughs> I want to be, I want to know some jams, dude. <laughs> Great. I Sing to the baby. It's just I support that. Song. <laughs> better have my money. Did you like Rihanna? <laughs> I thought she was nice. I thought, uh, yeah, I thought it was a good time. Pregnant? Yes. Was afraid to ask anywhere online, but I was digging. Yes. I mean. Seems obvious. We, I was kind of? sitting with a bunch of girls and. I mean, instantly, we were all on our phones. Is Rihanna pregnant? Because you <laughs> can then, smell it? <laughs> yeah, that's how that works. <laughs> but we were all like, well, she just had a baby in May. Maybe she like is still, you know, it's postpartum. Like, oh, did she you really? Know? Yeah. Who's she, impregnating this woman? 
Um, this is the best. This is the best. Um, oh my words. Meme yeah. tweet joke. Tweet joke. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, that I saw. So ASAP Rocky is the father. Okay. And so she just had a baby in May. She's pregnant again. What they name it? Um, they haven't released the name. It's quiet. Okay. Respect. But the joke is now we know why he's called ASAP. <laughs> 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 okay, I I don't think I think I missed that that ASAP Rocky and Rihanna are are they married? They no, but they are about to get married. Okay, true love. And I was wondering, do you think she calls him ASAP or Rocky or his real name? What do you think? <laughs> what do you think his real name is? It is. We looked it up. Oh, what is it? Uh, I forgot already. Gerald is my guess. No, I'm say Bryn Brendan. <laughs> Rakim. Yeah. Ah, that makes sense. I bet she calls him Rakeem. Yeah. If it was Clarence, yeah. she would call him ASAP, probably. <clears throat> Rihanna. That's her real name. Rihanna. That's how you say it. What? Yeah, we've been pronouncing it wrong this whole time. Who? When did she say this? Says who? Um, it came out recently. Some other actress pronounced it Rihanna, and everyone was like, yeah, that's actually the correct way to say it. She the one she correct us for. 20 I don't years. know. I don't know. So a skeptical on that, but. Well, Rihanna, hope wish you the best. It was pretty. It was. Uh, I guess she's pregnant, so that's why. But yeah, she wasn't like the most mobile performer. Yeah, they had to make the stage move since she wasn't moving that much. I guess. Yeah. I thought it was fine though. I mean, some lip singing, but some of her singing, a good mix. Of course, it's great. She has so many classic songs, but it does. It did feel. It feels like every year they go like, the moving platforms were cool. Mm -hmm. But it seems like usually they go, it's so over the top, and it, fe it feels like it's usually longer, no? I did see a tweet at halftime, and it was like, time of possession of the game. And it was like, Eagles, like, uh, 21 minutes, Chiefs, 9 minutes, Rihanna, 17 minutes. <laughs> 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 She'd had the ball twice as long as the Chiefs did. Yeah. <laughs> I was kind of surprised. I feel like they usually bring out, like, a surprise guest. There was. The baby. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Rakeem? Who was the surprise guest? The baby. Maybe. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Everyone thought yeah. Kanye because she did two Kanye songs back to back, but not. I mean, maybe at one point they did have Kanye. <laughs> yeah, like, like actually, like, you can't perform. Yeah, can't that I, yeah. Anymore. I thought it was nice. So I think sometimes I've like over recent years when I hear the person performing, I'm like, really? That's like our our person. But Rihanna was like, oh, that's nice because she, she does have a lot of hits. Mm -hmm. That'll be fun. The, the saddest part is any 14 year olds. They're like, who is this person? Yeah, I was they don't know say, a single Jake, song. It's of just hers. because we're old now. Yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> They don't know a single song. Yeah, we are remember old. being a, in a teenager <clears throat> and every Super Bowl act, you're like, who is this? Yeah. What's the point of who? Because they're catering to us. That reminds me 30s too. 30s and 40s. Wait, along with Super Bowl, like, did Super Bowl commercials used to be funny or was I just 11? Maybe just 11. <laughs> I, I don't know. I truly don't There's know. There's a couple amazing ones. You see the Breaking Bad that was chips a, one. That was by far my favorite one. Uh, again, teenagers would ha wouldn't have a clue what that is. Um, Electronic vehicle one was okay, I guess. Yeah. But it's not coming out for a couple of years. So they did an ad for a vehicle. Mm. Yeah, it'd be like doing an ad to like colonize Mars. It's like, okay. Well, I mean, <laughs> not to be like, you know, beating a dead horse, but I think it's probably brands, especially because I work with brands sometimes, and I'll have the the most innocent little joke in there. Like, let's go ahead and remove that just because we don't, that could upset. And like this day and age, everything is so like this age, microscopically checked over. So yeah, so nitpicked that are probably like we. It's tough to make a funny commercial. That's true. Because there's we're gonna alienate someone. Because mm -hmm. there was a uh, oh I forgot. Because there's old examples of commercials just like ten years ago. Will people be like, wow, they aired that? It's yeah. like right now that would upset this or that person. Or that's probably part of it. You want to know what commercial I was confused by? Not really upset, but. I'm going to have a lot of haters come after me again. Um, there was a commercial where... Oh, she's tripling down. A, a dog was oh. tearing up the whole house. That was like the opening scene. And then it showed a man going to purchase a kennel. And I was like, that seems like a good idea. The dog is clearly tearing up the entire house. Lock him up. And the end of it, they show, you know, all the people I'm watching with are like, oh my gosh, they're going to kennel the dog? And I'm like, well... I mean, that seems like that makes sense. And they come, the, the, bring the kennel in, and there's another dog. So the solution for the dog tearing up the house was to put another dog in the house. 
not to put it in the kennel. He was misbehaving because he was lonely. Yeah, and he was acting I, out. What was this advertising? Yeah, what was this brand? It, I think it was advertising... Pepsi. No, um, no. Some shopping, online shopping thing. That's They showed, like, buying the buying kennel. Buying dogs online. Yeah. <laughs> and, but I just was like, everyone in the room was like, oh my gosh, thank goodness, it's another dog. That makes way more sense. And I was like, and you don't like it. Does it? Katie, she's a she's all for kindling. I did think it was weird. She's like, the nursery's ready. And I walked in, there was a cage in the corner of the nursery. She's like, I read a book on kindling. This mm-hmm. is good. This is good. There's a bed in there. <laughs> <laughs> Stop like a lab rat water bottle. <laughs> yeah. It's just got milk in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. It would work. No, I mean, obviously I don't under I don't have any dogs. I don't understand, but that was confusing to me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there are some people have the they love the dog so much they're like tear up the house and I forgive you. Yeah. You gotta you see those crazy viral videos. They'll someone will come home from like a a day at the office. Yes. And the dog has like shredded couch cushions like they don't have to a couch oblivion. Anymore. Yes. Can you imagine? Can you imagine how fun it was for that dog for six oh, hours? Oh yeah. No kidding. It'd be fun to be a dog. That's what dog park should be. Not just like wide open field, wide open couch cushions. Oh. And just let them do it without any remorse. Right. Now it's going to teach them some interesting habits. Because yeah, when they get say, home, it's like, no, <laughs> not these couch cushions. Not these couch just cushions. Just the outdoor couch cushions. But what a day for that dog. If it's your dog's last day on earth or something, go get, put them in a field full of cushions. That's yeah. I you know I don't want a dog to rip up a couch, but there's levels to like taking care of a couch. I watched it the other day, and Katie was like laid down, <laughs> looking looking kind of like she was basking in the sun, and she just had one of the she had Amazon a pill, like a one of those like couch pill sucker things. You know what I'm talking about? The little like to get oh, oh, little. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Pill things off. And a dust buster. Yeah, it's more or less. She's just getting the, she's like, look how much better this looks. And I couldn't tell, but. <laughs> you couldn't tell? But I it mean, was sucking up stuff. Drastically It's different. a very satisfying thing to use. Yeah, I mean. There's no doubt about it. It's my, it's currently the way that I, when I'm just kind of too tired to do anything, I can lay on the couch and be removing the pills from our couch and feel like I'm still doing something productive. But I see what we're talking about now. Like when things like have like a pilling. sweater or like, something. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. I see, yeah. I see, I see, I see. That's what you call it, right? Pills. Yeah. I didn't know how to describe it. Yeah. Well, pills is also a different word. Oh no! And kidding. So that's where that's what I was. I've thinking been of. swallowing couch balls for years. <laughs> My headache won't go away. <laughs> Katie has been productive. She did this. I hadn't seen this. Apparently, this is common. Derek, did your wife do this, or have you heard of this? I look over. She's got these cute little baskets. She's putting in like. Gardettos and almonds and chapstick and little notes like thanks for all your help. I'm like, what's happening? She's like, this is for the nurses. Oh wow! You assume they're going to be helpful. This? No, but now I feel like we kind of wow. Yeah, our nurses are awesome. So now oh, I wow. feel like a big jerk. No, we did. I don't know, <laughs> we did have an appointment. I was like, they were just they knew who I was. They're asking about stuff. Who's family man? I was like, and I mentioned you. And they're like, yeah, they didn't bring us oh any gosh. ice cream. We got yeah. zero Gardettos from that yeah. guy. <laughs> I uh, have you all your friends done this, Katie? I don't know. I mean, I didn't ask. It's just something I've seen people do. And she just walked over. She'd written a little <laughs> note that was like, "Thank you so much for bringing our son into the world." Which first question? Where was he not? Where was he before? He was in in, <laughs> in my, a, on a different planet. The yeah. underworld yeah. too. Yeah. And <laughs> the under, thanks for bringing our son out of the underworld <laughs> <laughs> to the above world. And she signed it. She walked. She just walked over. She had. From Trey, Katie, and Thomas Kennedy. <laughs> Look. And she starts crying. I was like, okay. The hormones are wild hormones right now, guys. Her. I can't help it. <laughs> like, how I run in there. I'm like, I need a room stat. Her contractions are a minute apart. But I need I need an extra hand with the snack baskets. <laughs> <laughs> so I get the snack baskets. You can get them out of the car later. You don't pay the nurses, right? We pay them in snacks. <laughs> Get the oranges, the cuties. The nurses, labor nurses don't eat unless Oh, that's what I was going to add, them. was cuties. Dang Classic, it. yeah. No, they're not up for him. Katie was the least domestic woman you'd ever met, but in the last few months, I mean, she's baking, she bakes muffins every other morning. It's unbelievable. <laughs> it's weird. I it is know. fun to see someone just literally change. Like your hormones, you're yeah. just like, you are you are changing. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I make from scratch muffins in the morning sometimes. <laughs> I just wake, wake up getting coffee and she's covered in flour. <laughs> What's happening? I don't think we should ever like make content strictly 
based off of your changing emotions. But how fun would it be just to take like a 36 week pregnant woman and just do a, a video call like you just show her stuff and just like cry or not cry. <laughs> I think we would learn a lot. It was like, you, really? The Grinch you cried, but not this like Sarah McLaughlin thing. I <laughs> was went to Target yesterday and just walking around Target at the end of the day really exhausted me. So on the way home, I just cried because I was I was upset that I was that Target wasn't as fun because I was so tired. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I imagine the women can relate. If Target doesn't fulfill your dreams, that's yeah. probably heartbreaking. Once, yeah, yeah. People are always going to let you down, but what you never expect to let you down is a Target run. <laughs> yep. I, and that my, is crushing. I had a buddy who said his wife was down and out. He's like, you want me to take you to Target? Just walk around. <laughs> it was a pro move. Yeah. So that was a bummer. A but. new age, a 2023 chicken soup for the soul book is just going to say, go to Target on every page. <laughs> chicken just, you need soup it. for the soul? Remember I that? haven't thought of that in years. Well, it's because they need to rebrand. They what's need to the, say, go to Target. What's, what's the thing you mentioned that you're like so excited about no one's ever heard of? S Club 7. S Club 7. S Club Directies, 7. have you heard of this? Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Mm. Was it a, was a, it a little girl thing? It's a British. Must have been. British pop group. Hey, bruv. And they have not that many songs. There they are. They also had a TV show. On what channel? If it was MTV, that was blocked in my house. I don't think it was MTV because I don't think I could watch MTV either. God forbid it was on VH1. <laughs> Vice? Maybe. Well, I don't know. Spike TV? But yeah, that's gross. Kind of they had all of Whoa. like, I don't even yeah, think they had that many songs. Too but... much skin. I couldn't watch them. <laughs> You know what's funny is that I'm looking at this and thinking I wasn't allowed to listen or watch Spice Girls or anything, but those look pretty similar. It's pretty similar. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a similar spice. But they are they're getting back together. They're huh? getting back together for a tour in the UK, not the US, just mm, the UK. Well, I'm sorry. Hey. So, hey, bro. Maybe you'll go when you go to London this summer. Katie's struggling with motherhood. With or motherhood. just realistic. Oh, I mean, look, I am too. Are. I I know I'm unrealistic too. Oh wow. Katie's like, my friend wants me to come meet her in London in June. I was like, well, <coughs> are you asking for permission? Yeah, I don't. How is that going to work? So then we decided at the end of the year she's going back, but then she's not going back. So, anyways, I'm sure it's adjustment to all parents. You can't just scoot off to London whenever you want mm. to deal with this child. Mm. I should go to London. Is what you're saying? Yep. Yep. Book it now. Val Maybe that's what we do for Valentine's tonight. Rachel, surprise. I stopped by Walgreens on the way home, and I got you a ticket to London <laughs> because we don't have children. Yes. What's in London? Targets. <laughs> I'm thinking you do a Target in London. Yeah, you walk on the right side of the store. It's awesome. <laughs> um, you know, Big Ben. Yeah. Big Bend. Big Bend. Uh, Must be confused with the rabbits the and Big Bend. I, I've been before, but I... They have five guys, Chipotle. <laughs> yeah. I only walked around the city a little bit because when I went, which is really fun... Bad teeth. Went to Wimbledon, which is super fun. Wimbledon? Who is Wimbledon? Or Wimbledon? <laughs> Wimbledon. Rumpels Wimbledon? <laughs> Wimbledon. <laughs> went to this man's house. Oh, Mr. No. Wimbledon. He's Sir a, Wimbledon. Yeah, that's what... It's not a man's house. <laughs> I was not a man's house. <laughs> oh. Wimpleton. <laughs> Wimpleton. I mean, what else? <laughs> what else could I be talking about? Gotta go to Wimpleton. <laughs> oh. Um, Wimble you went to Wimble you got inside and watched the we matches. Were, we were on court one because this is what we learned. I was in college, study abroad, you know, whatever. We you, there's a there's a queue, a line for like people in the town. So if you get in this line, you can get really cheap tickets that are kind of like leftover or whatever for like a lot of the courts. So, but the line starts at 11 p.m. the night before. Okay. So if you want it really good, you if you want to sit at a good court, you have to camp there overnight. So we were 22. That's obviously what we did. We did not have camping gear. So we had bl blankets and trash bags. <laughs> and we just slept outside in the open air of this field in London where this line is. Wow. My and, <laughs> and at 6 a.m., Mr. Wimpleton came up and he said, congrats, you may yes. go in. Yep. You may and enter. we were able to get, we were like eight rows up on court one. It's pretty cool. Wow. That's pretty cool. Did yeah. you see any like A-listers there? Um, 
like playing tennis or just watching? <laughs> like, yeah, Serena Williams is there. That was pretty cool. That I was mean, pretty it, special. We're at Wimbledon, so who were you were able expect? to stay awake to watch? Honestly, throughout the day, because it was like the sun is just shining on you. I mean, we were there all day. One of us, there was probably eight of us there. One of us was asleep at all times. <laughs> Taking awesome. shifts. That sounds horrible. I remember my study abroad. I was in the the lawn of the Eiffel Tower, and they have, they have all these panhandlers, for lack of a better term, walking around with wine, just like 20, 20 euros, bottle of wine. I was very proud. I was like, I'm a young businessman. I talked them down to uh, four <laughs> bottles plus one beer for 20 euros. Oh. Now, the beer was 1% alcohol. <laughs> so I don't know how much that was. <laughs> I'd never seen that. I looked at the bottles and said 1%. Wine was terrible. But uh, me and the crew enjoyed it, just stared at it. How does uh, the Eiffel Tower compare? Like, give me an Instagram versus reality. This could be fun just for anything. Anything any of you guys have ever experienced. Give me an Instagram versus reality. <laughs> um, well, Instagram, I look at Eiffel Tower and go, no interest in seeing that. <laughs> and the reality. <laughs> so this, the, the expectation is already low. Yeah. The reality <laughs> is, yeah, that's, it's right there. Big old building. Kind of field on either side. And then it lights up at night, which is kind of like, ooh. That's cool too. If you've never seen lights before, you love yeah. it. Uh-huh. Trey's a bad person to ask this. Yeah, I, he, I mean, it's, it's it'd be like asking the, you how a golden retriever is. Yeah, You're like, yeah. I mean, it's an very, animal. Very similar. Very <laughs> similar. <laughs> it's a little. It is as big as you think. Okay. Like sometimes, like if you've ever seen Mount Rushmore, you're like, uh, I've heard that's very what? disappointing. It's so small compared to what your brain thinks. But Eiffel Tower, it's kind of what you think it is. It's right there. It's they've built. There's nice fields around it. Kind of in a town square. Lots happening around it. I've seen it's the Eiffel nice Tower experience. in Las Vegas. And you can go into it, people don't realize. Like a little elevator that you yeah, take yeah. up it? Cool. Up in there for a sec. Yeah, if you've been to Paris and Las Vegas, it's, same thing. It's the yeah. exact same size, I think, too, right? The oh. one in Paris is no bigger. Mm. They're the exact same size. So I think yeah. I've already bigger. seen it. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, basically. Same, <laughs> same thing, yeah. Uh-huh. This show is sponsored by Better Help. Oh, I didn't feel like my best self a while back. You did not? What'd you do? Well, first I was, I was sad. Okay. But then I did something <laughs> to help, and it was therapy. Oh my gosh! That's yeah, awesome. better help. If you've been a um, guys, if you've done therapy, you know it's beneficial. I, what very much was for me, and better help changed the way it's done. Very helpful. Um, if you're thinking of giving therapy a try, better help's a great option. It's convenient, flexible, affordable, and entirely online. Entirely online? Yep. That's the way I like to do things. All you guys got to do, just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. That is right. That's pretty easy, huh? Any time. Name and a time of day. Is it better health? Or what were you saying? No. Help. Oh. I don't know why I did this at the end. <laughs> help. <laughs> help. So, uh, guys, we have an offer for you. If you want to live a more empowered life, therapy can get you there. Oh. Visit BetterHelp. Dot com <laughs> slash correct today to get 10% off your first month. That's better help, H E L P dot com slash correct. What's better than finding quality candidates? Finding them instantly for a powerful hiring partner. You need indeed. indeed. One more time, you need everyone. Indeed. Indeed is the hiring platform where you can attract, interview, and hire all in one place. Don't spend hours on multiple job sites looking for candidates with the right skills when you can do it all with Indeed. Find top talent fast with Indeed's suite of powerful hiring tools like Indeed Instant Match, assessments, and virtual interviews. Hate waiting? Indeed's U.S. data shows over 80% of Indeed employers find quality candidates whose resume on Indeed matches their job description the moment they sponsor a job. Something I love about Indeed, we, we just hired some new people. They make all the hiring very uh, all in one place, so easy, like instant match. So join over 3 million businesses worldwide using Indeed to hire great talent fast. Visit Indeed.com slash Trey to start hiring now. Just go to Indeed.com slash Trey, Indeed.com slash Trey. Terms and conditions apply. Cost per application pricing not available for everyone. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Indeed. Katie? You need Indeed. Indeed. Daily Harvest, my favorite. Okay. <laughs> really? I don't yeah. know what it is. What is it, Katie? They are frozen meals, smoothies, um, flatbreads, snacks, and it's all organic fruits and vegetables. Ooh, it's been okay. helping us. We're obviously a little busy. Katie's feeling tired. She yeah, I don't really want to cook that much, but I still want to eat healthy. It's and stress-free. These have been amazing. What's your favorite? Um, the 
Oh, I had this like broccoli cheddar uh, harvest bowl. It tastes like broccoli cheddar soup. Very good. Mm. Let me hear it. Let me hear it. <laughs> um, I'm good on that. Okay. <laughs> Let me hear it. <laughs> Daily Harvest is committed to human and planetary health as well, which means they do their absolute best to ensure transparency and integrity when it comes to all their ingredients, the humans who grow them, supporting the farmers to invest in practices that increase biodiversity, improving the soil. Um, they, Daily Harvest does all the work. You eat. You enjoy. Win-win for everyone. Let David Harvest do more so you can do less. Go to dailyharvest.com slash tray. Get up to $40 off your first box. That's dailyharvest.com slash tray for up to $40 off your first box. Dailyharvest.com slash tray. That was good. It was good. Uh, okay, let's move right along here. What what, hap- what What's happening in Ohio? There's always something happening in Ohio. Dude, I don't know. I, I'm a little scared to talk about it because it seems like some sort of... Is that of- a real photo? Yeah, yeah, look what's happening. What? Everyone go on YouTube and look what's happening. I'll show you the aerial version that of it, That looks like too. a bomb. So what, yeah. what's, been, what's happening? So here? there was a train wreck. Derek, I'm going to need some backup yeah. on this. There was a train wreck, and I think the trains were carrying, right? The, the bad stuff was in the trains. So within the trains, <laughs> bad stuff in choo-choo? <laughs> choo-choo train? Thomas Tank Engine? Splat. Thomas Bad? <laughs> so within the trains was this crazy, crazy poisonous ha- hazardous material that you're not supposed to have. I mean, I, who knows why it was even being transported this way. And anyway, train derailed. Also, I saw another train derailed like yesterday in Houston. I don't know what's going on with the train system. Figure that out, That's America. Scary. But uh, all the stuff exploded. And it's obviously a much bigger deal than just the train. These chemicals are on fire and it's burning. It's going into the sky. It's going into the atmosphere. And it's just very, very poisonous. So like fish are dying in rivers and cows are dying in fields 500 miles away. And it's this kind of scary deal. That is scary. And it could leak into the Ohio River, which connects to like everything in America. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My faucet in my home comes directly from the Ohio River. No filtration. Mm -hmm. Well, you keep an eye on that. So that's a bummer. Yeah. That was a real big perk of the house initially. (laughs) It said it comes with a, yeah, a bidet in the faucet, both Ohio River. Mm -hmm. I said, great. Done. Uh, Let me see. I watched Chernobyl and read the whole book on Chernobyl. Really? And... You would probably be very intrigued by this. You yeah, look let me tell it. you, if if it's a total disaster, they're going to lie to us about it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they're going to cover that up because, dude, there's, like Chernobyl was granted. That's like a that was like a communist nation, so a little different. Or is it? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's the Chernobyl was like the that what happened was one of the four reactors of the nuclear nuclear plant exploded. So like, they were terrified if even another reactor exploded. It would have like rendered Europe uninhabitable. Oh, geez. And then there's like, it's burning through down to the core. Like, and if it hit the riverbed, it would have con- completely contaminated a river source to how many Just tens of millions of everything. people. Like, yeah. They're on the brink of a unfathomable disaster. Hopefully this isn't a similar situation, but. Jeez. I was very confused for a second when they said Palestine. It is that very was... confusing. You're like, have you seen the fire in Palestine? You're like, well, I mean. Palestine, it's like, Ohio? Yeah, it's East That's Palestine, Ohio. <laughs> Ohio, the Middle East. That's what you. Yeah, I mean, Palestine is in the Middle East. It all it all checks. It out. all makes sense. Yeah, it is too bad. So if you're in Ohio, um, hope you're doing okay. Let us know. Like, yeah. hey, you got your eyes and ears on the ground. What's happening in Ohio? Let us know. They arrested some reporters that were just trying to report on it. It is kind really? of they they rescued him. What'd you say? Arrested. Oh, arrested them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because. They didn't want the news to get out. There's probably, yeah, there's probably some balance of like, if it's a true disaster, like we, we can't cause a whole total panic just yet. Slash, I don't know. Slash, we, we made a whoopsie. Thomas made a look, whoopsie carrying all that in his tank. I got to look this up on the map. So look at these UFOs that are happening. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, UFOs. Don't worry about Palestine. The There's balloon. always stuff in Palestine. The Rihanna's pregnant. <laughs> Rihanna's Sam Smith. Pregnant. Maybe they paid Sam Smith to wear the crazy outfit. Some people really do believe that stuff, though. <laughs> you know, people believe that everything is connected. People everything, believe that yeah. Rihanna is, is the Antichrist. Rihanna's Antichrist. She's being ASAP, ASAP Rocky. Yeah. What the the, the end of the world's coming ASAP, mm-hmm. and it's gonna get rocky. What's the second letter in ASAP? S. S. Satan. Satan. Rihanna. No, it's not Rihanna. It's Rihanna. Tell it's not what. Satan. It's Satan. <laughs> <laughs> it all makes it what well, show that old DUI video that's going around yeah. or uh, drinking and driving. This is kind of by the do, way, speaking do, of cars. OK, you do, got it. Still, any attempt to restrict drinking and driving here is viewed by some as downright undemocratic. 
It's kind of getting common just when a fella can't put in a hard day's work, put in 11, 12 hours a day, and then get in your truck and at least drink one or two beers. They're making it laws. At least. You can't drink when you want to. Look at the kid. There's a baby in shotgun. When you're driving. And pretty soon we're going to be calm in this country. Still, any attempt to... What, wait, what if she just goes, pretty soon they're going to poison the Ohio River. <laughs> oh! <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah, what is that from? I mean, that Pretty looks like soon, it's from like ASAP going to knock up Rihanna. <laughs> How'd she know? It's when they made DUIs illegal in, I'll find out what where area that is in. Was that like 80s? Okay, that 70s or 80s. Yeah, it's always going to be some pushback, which by the way, speaking of cars and babies in cars, it put in the car seat over the weekend. Did you? Did yeah. I do it wrong? Cause did it's, you hate it? It was pretty easy. <laughs> so did I do it wrong? Because I've heard from... A handful of fathers, like that's the worst part. It's, Maybe they tight, like you had to tighten it and it won't budge because that's the hardest well, part is you're yanking on that cable, <laughs> making as tight as can be. Maybe, maybe mine needs to be a little tighter. You can give you. I'll, I'll double check it, but Do you maybe they've to... gotten maybe they've gotten easier to install too. No. I don't know. I could sit in it if you want okay, and kind of test it out and see if it's working. If you can just get in it and I'll just kind of slam on the brakes back and forth and <laughs> just make sure. Numbers. We'll probably have to remove the infant padding that we added to make it a little smaller. Go back to the regular padding for you. But as long as there's some padding, I should be fine. The yeah. gremlin padding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't Full know. Grown. I installed it. Katie, um, do you, Rachel, do you and Rachel or family man, do you and your wife are, have I talked about this before? C cut me off. We, we, we kind of brought it up before. Okay. There's nothing will get us going more than like a quick little household project or a little like putting in the car seat. I walked down there. I was like, we will fight during this process. Like, no, no, we don't. It's and like then, uh, Liam Neeson. It's like, you're going to be taken. It's yeah, like, hey, it I want to repaint the living okay. room. It is inevitable. You are going to pick yeah. a fight yeah. with me. <laughs> <laughs> yep. before, before we put up this wallpaper, let's schedule therapy where we get set five minutes into the thing and I'm doing we it. We just do projects so differently. And she's like, wait, and hold on. Let's read the instructions. I'm like, just tell me the next part. And when she's like, hey, don't talk to me that way. There's like... Our neighbors playing nearby, like, excuse, excuse us, don't mind us. But then we did it. We said, hey, look at us. But now I'm not sure it's correct, apparently. So maybe those uh, so instructions should have. You, you plug in the seatbelt <laughs> and then you latch it with the belt and you just got to make sure. Did you use your, your external seatbelt or the metal things inside the seat that you clip onto? So what I did. That oh, has, I see what you're asking. Yeah. Huh? Mine was, it has it had little hooks on it where you just jam it. In and yeah. to get it connect to that rod that in little, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Felt the click. Mm -hmm. We're in there. And then it comes down and clicks and you pull it as taut as possible. Yeah, that tightening, it. that's the hard part. Okay. So you have a one that isn't that difficult because that is I have a game one of, you know, the game changer then. So I pulled it all the way out. Yeah. To then when you release it back, it like locks. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, you ever pull great. it all the way yeah, out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, jokes. <laughs> <laughs> so I did that and it seems pretty good. Mm. I don't know. I, Wait, let's run it by the fire station. How about that? Could be the strongest man on earth. Maybe that's Katie, it. ever since she's been pregnant, she's like, let me just go by the firefighters and just make sure. Let me have them check out my stomach, make sure. <laughs> that is definitely <laughs> never happened. But there the is a station boys. very close to us. Mm -hmm. That's actually why the last apartment I had, it actually faced the fire station. I don't know if you remember that. That's you, true. You're always near a fire You're, station. Whoa, what in yeah. the world? <laughs> you better get some arson insurance. He's got something up her sleeve. Yep. Just watch them all day. I remember I'd park, I'd park at her <laughs> apartment, look up at her apartment window, and she'd just be, they would be playing softball, and she'd just be staring. <laughs> this is not true at all. Uh, well, the fact that I lived across from a fire station is true, but <laughs> did not watch them. Pray for the people of Ohio. Um, I don't know. I think the least they could do for Ohio is make DUIs legal again, <laughs> if they're going to deal with all this. At least for that area. Yeah. <laughs> Am I right? Uh Basketball game, high school basketball game, ended four to two. The great state of Oklahoma, my home state. Oh, an entire high school basketball game ended four to two, which I can't fathom how like, they not foul each other. Or... Yeah, when I saw this, I mean, first of all, I was just like, okay, I, there probably needs to be a shot clock in high school. Weatherford versus Anadarko. Any rectees from Anadarko? We played Anadarko every year. Native American town. Man, could those boys run. Anna they Darko. pressed us for 40 minutes. They're terrible to play. So they're probably just running Weatherford. Who won? The Eagles won, I believe, if I remember Eagles, right. Eagles, that's yeah. got to be Weatherford. Maybe not. 
or was Anna Darko the Warriors? Looks like that's what it says on the screen. Yeah, well, based that, on what you told wouldn't me, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Gotcha. So f- I looked into it because I was so curious. I was like, how does this happen? Did a team just go four or two and just hold it the rest of the game? Not quite. The team who held the ball the whole game was actually the team that lost. Good coaching is what they that is. Yeah. They just couldn't shoot. <laughs> So All right, I, guys, we're one possession game. We're going to hold for the last shot. <laughs> yeah, that's what they did, basically. I can't, I don't understand how high, not, once you get to like ninth grade, put in a shot clock, a 45 second one. You yeah, know, it like, doesn't have to so, be quick. It's just crazy. I don't know what, why is it just like cost? It's like, well, that's another, uh, you know, it's going to cost us $600. Yeah. It's like, a one time purchase. Listen, <laughs> the volunteer scoreboard guy, we're doing good to just get the score right, mm-hmm. let alone the shot clock resetting and keeping track of that. It's $600 one time and then $10 an hour for someone to monitor it. We just can't do it. Can't do it. We just can't do it. Um, so what I what I think happened is there was one really good team. We'll call them Anadarko. Or right. Is that the team? Either way. They one, lost, I guess. Yeah. And they were probably going to win by a ton. And so the other team was like, hey, rather than losing by 30, let's just lose by two and make it the most miserable experience for Covered these the high spread. school boys. Yeah. And everyone in the stands. I did bet the under, so that was easy. Got to hammer the under when you're playing Weatherford. We probably will get to the point where we bet on. No, you can't bet on amateur sports. Well, yeah, you can. College basketball. But high know. school? No. Well, let's do it. No. It's out of control. I'm just waiting for them to legalize pickleball betting. I got my got my nose to the, to yeah, the ground. I'm going to be insights. ready to go. Yeah. So uh, you've got to appreciate the Super Bowl betting for just like the silly bets where they're like, what? What will Rihanna's first song be? What, yeah, yeah. What? Over under national anthem. Yeah. Oh, the over under national anthem. I, I saw a lot of people had a heartbreaker. Um, it was at right at like two minutes. And I think two oh two was the line. Yeah, the, the, the under. Real close. But it was a beautiful anthem. The color of the Gatorade was an all time underdog. Do you see that? It was purple this year. Purple. Nobody bad purple. Riptide Rush. Yeah, yeah. Good for Andy. Oh, <laughs> you kn- yeah, Coach Reed would like Riptide Rush. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh. Miss Gatorade. I learned about an octopus this year because that was one of the prop bets. I was like, how do I bet on an octopus? I still like, is that like a Philadelphia fan is going to throw an octopus on the field? (laughs) I'll bet. Yes. Yes. Some kind of like camouflage thing. (laughs) Yeah. They're going to fit something really big through a really small hole at one point. I don't know what that means. Um, (laughs) Do you know what it means? Yeah. I learned it's if if the same player immediately after scoring the touchdown also scores the two point conversion. So essentially, they scored oh. eight points. Or I'd seen, me and my friends almost bet this, but you're like, this won't happen. But there was a bet where if a field goal would hit the upright, yeah. I made money off the doink. <laughs> I put five dollars on a, a kick at any point to hit a crossbar, and unfortunately, it was the Chiefs player, so I couldn't really celebrate it. But yeah, that, made yeah you probably made fifty bucks. That noise <laughs> alone was just Dung. yeah, it's just <laughs> satisfying. I love when I mic it up. <laughs> it just makes it so much worse. <laughs> I'll tell you what else was it was a good it was a good night for for Jake and Rachel because I'd been waiting all year, uh, but I finally signed Rachel up for DraftKings. There are there are always these gambling sites, they're always giving you free money if you can get someone to sign up. So I signed Rachel up, I do it on her phone for her, and they give Rachel two hundred dollars worth of free bets. It was eight an octopus of twenty five dollar free bets. And so I was like, we're never going to do this again after the Super Bowl. Let's let's have ourselves a night. Never know. And so at various points, I just bet the Chiefs to win. It's like beginning of the game. Sure. Twenty five dollar free bet. Hey, they're down seven zero. Odds went up 20, you know, another twenty five dollars. Hey, we're down 10 at halftime. Boom. Another twenty five dollars. And boy, was it fun when they eventually won that game. It was awesome. <laughs> like five hundred bucks. Yeah. All free money. Yeah. It's great. And you cash it out. Yes. Yeah. Get out of That's there. That's a get great feeling. I got on a an app, the Barstool Sports app. Yeah um because the other wasn't working or something and i made one bet i've done this on two different apps where i bet one bet i won and i cashed out i'm like what a great feeling to stick like, it to I, the man yeah take that i win yeah you I'm, gave me free money i bet it i won you gave me so much free money you forgot about the little guy you didn't think i was responsible i'm 31 i'm yep. not just throwing money around yeah i'm smart have you made a DraftKings account for me yet no, let's do it. Ooh, Valentine's Day. Could be Va- a- oh my gosh, we have Valentine's plans. <laughs> Oklahoma State, my favorite team, plays tonight, and we'll start you an account. And we're gonna. Wow, well, I'm gonna do that. Thanks. <laughs> it's fun. We got to drive through Kansas on the way home. Yeah, I was told by a few um, wives that that was not part of their Valentine's evening. That watching that game was not going to happen. Are you so, kidding? No. <laughs> there's no way. I mean. It's one. They played ten bazillion games. You can miss one. That's less than oh, that. Oh, it's less than that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> barely. Wait, is this? Uh, let's do a segment. Judge Jake. Oh, 
It's happening live. Hey, oh, hey, live. T- a fight's happening in this real is, time. This is, this is yeah. a new one. This is a new one. <laughs> this is a session. Your honor, <laughs> I present to you, it's Valentine's. We all know Valentine's. Now, uh, I'm very grateful to have a wife who, who is raised about Valentine's. Let's acknowledge it. We're in love. We're creating life. But she's like, it's, it's also Valentine's. It's a little cheesy. It's not too, let's just make sure we hang out together. So we're going to, we are, we have tentative plans. I'm going to cook a nice meal. We'll just relax. And during, it just so happens that on Valentine's Day, my favorite basketball team, Oklahoma State, plays the Kansas Jayhawks in a very important, very big competitive fun game. Now, Trey, let me ask you, is it true that the Oklahoma State Cowboys at in the 2022-2023 season will play a bazillion regular season games? A uh, point of information, Your Honor, that, that is incorrect. <laughs> okay. Um, I believe my... Um, opponent <laughs> slash love <laughs> was uh, being hyperbolic there. Uh, they only have a few games left. Okay. And this, and Your Honor, I'm happy for this to be on a secondary watching device, maybe an iPad while the main TV is on something else. Oh, okay. I'd be happy to do that. I'd be happy to put a nice movie on while the, the iPad's muted with the game on. Wow. Um, but of course, I'd be thrilled if it made it on the main tv <laughs> if she'd be up for that if you but would find it in your heart <laughs> if you would find it in your heart um you know and that's really that could be the valentine's plans and that's that's all i have um okay that's the opening statement thank you yeah. katie your your opening statement so let's get this straight. You are just playing. Okay, well, I'd on... like to point out the tone. <laughs> uh, your honor. The tone. <laughs> All right. You're, uh, you're planning on just throwing on a movie for Valentine's Day. So the plans are pretty loose anyways. Oh, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like they're flexible. So, uh, hmm. I do not want to see or hear this game. <laughs> um, <laughs> Ooh, maybe, okay, I, okay, keep going, keep going. I, 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 Objection, I'm, Your Honor. I'm, why, she needs new friends. <laughs> She's been influenced by friends. Um, I, the football season is finally over, thank goodness. And uh, um, <laughs> we can just take one night of no sports. I realize I haven't played a gazillion games. I think it was bazillion. But yep. <laughs> they have played a lot of games. Okay. Um, okay. I do have one question. Why is this well, game so important? Well, it's your opening statement. It's your opening statement. Let me get I'm this straight. I'm not on the witness stand. My Let me get this statement. straight. <laughs> opening <laughs> statement. statement. All right. Now, okay. now into the argument. Um, yeah. <laughs> Can you be a witness now? Um, why is this game so important? Uh... You really want this answer? Yeah. Well, they're playing one of the best teams in the conference. They're at a pivotal point. They've won six out of the last seven. If they win this, they'll they'll be thrust into the top 20 conversation. It's unbelievable. At home. Okay, so like not that important. Cool. You, you said thrust. <laughs> thrust. Yeah. So they will just hopefully get into the top 20. That doesn't seem that impressive. So. Okay. Well, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> Katie, let me ask you a question. Can you walk me through what have the festivities been on previous Valentine's Days? Can I get an idea of like what what we're used to? It is it is pretty low key. I do I don't really want to go out. I prefer staying home and we have I mean, yeah, it's been pretty Your low-key. Honor in my journal that I, I I journal, not to brag, uh five year journal. Last year I was able to reflect on us be staying in and Katie made dinner. She made a corn chowder that was to, to die for. Two years ago, we were, two years ago would have been 2021. We were on, I might have been on the road, or no. We probably didn't do that much. I don't know. That's all I can remember, Your Honor. Thank you. Yeah, that's all I can remember as well. <laughs> the five years journal only goes back uh, one year. <laughs> we have been together for five years now, so that's... Oh, We've, we have spent five so, Valentines together. So it's been long enough to start maybe blowing off some of these holidays. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, Your Honor. All right. You remember that Valentine's video you made of like the girls, you know, different types of girls on Valentine's Day? Yes. I am definitely low-key the girl that's like, no, you don't need to do anything, but like kind of expecting something. 
<laughs> yes. I went through this issue. Well, actually, I'm still a judge right now. Yeah. I'm still a judge. I can't Please speak into my own personal and life. Then we'd love to hear I, what you're going through, judge. I just, I just want it. I just want to be acknowledged. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No further, no further comments. I have mm-hmm. a, I have one last question for Katie and then I think I'm going to make my ruling. So we haven't really heard what you want yet. Is it just, I don't want to watch a basketball game or do you have actual, like, what, what would you like to see out of your Valentine's Day night? I You're getting would, dinner made for you. Mm-hmm. What else? Um, I would like for us to just just sit and chat about our mm. life and our upcoming child, Ooh. and you know, just just have a nice bonding night. Bonding night. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well. Uh, you're going to want a female judge for that one, I think. <laughs> you're going to want a female judge. Um, okay. Uh, the uh, Even Jake was like, that sounds brutal. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to do that with like a former president or anyone even <laughs> interesting. Um, all right. So verdict is... Um, I will honor Katie's request that she doesn't want to see or hear the game. Solution. Trey, you will set up a... You have a new assistant now, right? Who mm-hmm. is only here to work for business things? Yes. Well, you're going to need to hire for this thing, too. Uh, she's going to set up a series of mirrors in your living room to where Katie can still be sitting on the couch and and just only see you. But there's a mirror in the corner, only from your viewpoint, that goes to another mirror, to another mirror, to a big screen TV. And so as long as you sit in the right spot, you get to watch the, ca- the game. And Katie, as re- requested, does not see or hear the game. And thank you, Judge. Court is out of session. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Found some common ground there. That's easy. Mm. Okay, that was helpful. Yeah, that's great. I was gonna say, uh, yeah, yesterday when Rachel and I were talking about Valentine's Day, she was like, "All right, yeah, I." She has like a, a practicum all day. It's like on Tuesdays, Thursdays, it's from like she gets there at eight thirty, doesn't leave till seven. They're a crazy long day, so I assume she wouldn't want to do anything. She's like, hey, "Can we agree, like?" Let's not get each other anything. And I kind of like just squinted at her. I was like, oh, okay. And uh, like I was even like calling her bluff in the moment. Right, She's right, like, right. seriously, seriously, like I, I'm going to be gone all day, whatever. And then probably about an hour later, we're talking. And I was like, I didn't ask. What did you do between like teaching and this today? And She's like, oh, I went to Target. And I was like, oh, I don't think I noticed anything in your house. Like, what'd you get from Target? And she's like, uh, some stuff for you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I knew it. Also, you couldn't lie. You couldn't think of anything. Yeah. You could have said a, a, a thousand things. That I would not have questioned you about Bunch it. Bunch of stuff for you. What We did have one holiday where, what was it? Maybe Christmas. It was some scene of it where Katie did like a, seriously, don't do anything. And I said, Okay. As you wish. <laughs> and then that day, she's like, and very nicely, she's like, oh, I was like, well, you said no. We're like, okay, well, moving forward. I think I it, want us to at least like acknowledge, I, do like a little something. It's like, okay, okay. Yeah, I now just wanted know. to like be like, okay, you put a little thought into this about, you know, for your wife. I'm so, like I ever said, every yeah. girl who says, like, like, we don't do anything, like, of course, she'll do a tiny something. But I was just like, well, let's it test this Christmas, out. I, I didn't remember. even like mention it or yeah, yeah. It was like it was christmas she and said, i was like let's just like go out to eat and that can be like our gift to each other or whatever and she gives and, me a cute card yeah in my mind like, i'm envisioning this yeah. <laughs> yeah this like the heck is this nice <laughs> evening maybe we do maybe we go do something else other but you know not just go to dinner and the whole time he's like is this an, are we done like we got to do more things tonight and i'm like this is our Christmas celebration. <laughs> so we figured it out. Yeah, now we know. Katie said, I want to have it very low key. And Trey interpreted it as, I don't want to celebrate it. I don't want to talk about it. In fact, we're not it. even Christian people. This is not even a, <laughs> yeah. a birth that I acknowledge. Yeah. Easter or bust. <laughs> so yeah. now you know. Great. So from, so from then on out, I just typically will just pick something that I want and be like, here, can you get this for me? Mm-hmm. Here, I would like this. Um, she still hasn't gotten a birthday gift from a week ago. She, I, she can't. Oh, you did order one. I ordered it. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Good. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Congrats on ordering it. We, that is funny. <laughs> we did figure out, uh, because that's our thing. We just figured out when she, for her gift, she just picks exactly what she wants. Except we, for, that's you we did roll. a good job for Christmas. You picked out something I did pick out me. something. But, but the most really big special gift, she's like, I'm just going to. If we're going to spend a, a lot of money on something, I want it to be something that I know that I like and want. Mm-hmm. Because Rachel's ring, you just picked it out, 
or she did give you like pretty clear instruction i i had a good amount to go off of and then she yeah. kind of let me like all right and you could pick between some of these very variables mm. i went with the three stone wow little oval yeah oh. oval three stone oval three stone yep. yeah same same no way so in right now good for us i didn't even know that i feel like i got a lot of comments like oh very unique very original i was like what's is the, it? <laughs> what are the side diamonds what shape are those circles Ah, uh, crap I want a little more pear. Oh, well, I mean, well, they could definitely be pear then. I didn't know that was an option. <laughs> <laughs> I'm embarrassed. I thought it was like triangle, circle, square. <laughs> uh, real quick, Rectis, let us know in the comments. Um, we, we're debating doing maybe like a live podcast one of these days. Mm. So let us know. What city that are you That sounds in? fun. And what city are you in? Live Just meaning to- what? Because there's two different... Oh yeah, I, I was confused. <laughs> Thank you. Live in person with an audience vibe, like a show. You would, uh, it'd be a nice, fun, small, intimate thing. You would buy a ticket and you'd show up, and we'd be there in the same room, and we'd do this. We would look like we do now. Mm-hmm. Um, Even though so Ka- Katie will have a kid by then, she will still give updates on the size of her stomach. It'll be mm-hmm. like the good old right. days. Yep. Yes. Yep. That's always going to be a part it's, of the show. Yeah. Shrank a little more this week. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're just count, we just count backwards. Yeah. Mm-hmm. From, yeah. That's kind of fun. I think so. Yeah. So let us know. Could be let a very fun thing. How long have we been going? Right at an hour. Oh, okay. Mm, I can share my fun pregnancy story. I was going to say. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, I even want to know sizes too. Mm, well, what is this? Um, it was the first time I, I, <laughs> I got like a, not rude. I just was like, thought it was hilarious. I was in target once again um and crying i was not crying but i was on like the medicine aisle or whatever and this group of like three probably like 14 year olds it was like a boy and two girls they were like friends they came onto the aisle and the boy said oh i found the band-aids and a really pregnant lady (laughs) (laughs) he found you (laughs) wait how old was he they were probably like like 14 uh. (laughs) And I just was like, did he just say that out loud? And I'm like, <laughs> Mom, this lady is too pregnant to be in public. Yeah, I know. I was like, oh my gosh. And they all just kind of like looked at each other. I just kind of, I mean, I, just, I thought it was funny. Yeah, you turn the corner, you see a woman in the Valentine's chocolate aisle. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it was, I just couldn't believe he just like said it out loud like that. Found a very band-aids. pregnant lady. No. Really pregnant lady. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Wheeler out of here. Oh, that's great. Jeez. How, what are we at gestation wise? How many weeks? We are 39 weeks on Thursday. So we are very, very close. What is it? 40? Is that when it's showtime? Yep. And he's pretty large in there. I mean, he probably weighs like seven pounds in there. Wow. Fun in there on the, in the underworld. In the underworld. In the upside down. In the underworld. In the upside down. Um, yeah. Can't wait for him to arrive on Earth. <laughs> Same. I mean, I was wondering. How, I can't wait to ask him how like space is. But um, <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, oh yeah, because we got some more categories. Oh, that's right. Maybe the yeah. app updated sweet, at thirty nine weeks. They're just like you're on your own. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So eighties and nineties nostalgia. Um, it, is, it is the size of a baby. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, it's as big as a speak and spell. Sounds like a toy I would have loved. Sounds Never like heard a, of it. Sounds it, like an underworld toy. <laughs> yeah. Like witch toy. I don't even know. I don't know what that is. Oh. Mm. Speak and spell. Anyone ever play with this? Oh, uh, yes. Yes. Oh, you did? Yes. What do you I don't remember that. How does it work? I think it would I, I definitely like I recognize the visual of it so much. I think but we didn't have it. It was like my grandparents had it. So, you know, I played with this oh. like, you know, like oh, twice a year or okay. something. You just type in something and it says it speaks the word out. I, I believe so. Very educational. Huh. So it's the size of that. That. Also the size. Yeah, of... there you go. Right there. <laughs> reference. Oh. For reference. For reference. Well, wow. Okay. Um, I, oh, Princess Buttercup's crown in The Princess Bride. Okay. Man, they are struggling. For <laughs> yeah, this is. Andre the Giant's hand. Very. Um, Princess Buttercup. In Mario Kart, Princess Peach has his crown. I'm going to let you guys guess the snack. Ooh, okay. Um, Side-by-side honey buns. Party-sized pack of Gardettos. <laughs> For the okay. nurses. Wait, that crown is huge. 
<laughs> yeah, oh, my God. Yeah. oh no, <laughs> Princess Buttercup. Oh no, that does not look fun to birth. Oh, Princess Buttercup. Oh, here we go. Quite, quite the I subreddit this here. I yeah, this yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fandom. I saw it. It said log out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he had a log in, dude. <laughs> um, uh, Derek, we'll let you guess snack size. Oh, yeah, snack size. Uh, uh, a nice snack of. Uh, pineapple, a good old pineapple snack. Pineapple snack. <laughs> I mean, this pineapple. this is a very questionable snack in general. Um, as big as an extra large cheese pizza. Oh, nice. Oh my. <laughs> extra large. <laughs> he's he's uh, we have <laughs> dartboard and a pizza. He actually yeah. is. Once a week, he is an <laughs> underworld baby. <laughs> Once a week, it gives you just like a flying mm. saucer <laughs> yeah, shape of a baby. Also, is Pizza? that a snack? We have we had yeah. this we had this debate before. Yeah, it was very it podcast snack, friendly. I will I'll say that. <laughs> yeah, pretty. Uh, but the fruit is a mini watermelon. What? Not. A, I mean, I, I think this is a full watermelon at this point. Yeah. <laughs> They're very confused. Extra large pizza is humongous. I know. And not a shape that. <laughs> Also, yeah, I mean, that's... for sports, it's a um, swimming kickboard. Those are huge, too, right? Those are the things. Oh, those were yeah. fun. That yeah. you like, kind of like <laughs> balance your upper body on to uh-huh. stay on top of the water. That is pretty large. I mean, that's bigger than your torso, right? Yeah. Nice, baby. <laughs> Mini I think I'm a full watermelon at this point. <laughs> Don't let anybody <laughs> tell you differently. These are. I was funny. I won't say the details on the podcast, but there's been a joke of during the pregnancy when she started, cause you know, Katie, she's always trying to be very fit and thin. And I'm sure every woman goes through this. We're like, Hey, you're going to gain 30, 40, 50 pounds during pregnancy. And she's like, what? And so I've joked the whole time. I'm like, we're, I'm trying to get a little thinned out a little bit. I was like, we're, the goal is we weigh the same. Hence all of his running. (laughs) (laughs) Like that's fun. So we go to the doctor together and they have her top on the scale. And I'm like looking right at her. I was like, Oh, come on. Higher, higher. higher. And I, the nurse was kind of like, what's this guy doing? Yeah. She, she's like, yeah, a lot of girls like, don't even want their husband to look. And she got off, and I was like, oh, we're getting close. Yeah. You have to tell the doctor, like, he, he bet on DraftKings. I'd be uh, yeah, a certain weight. Yeah, it's a whole so. thing. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I mean, it might. I think it's probably going to happen. You're going to meet? Yeah. We're going to get close. It's going to be pretty close, yeah. yeah take you go to the hospital, fin- final weigh-in day. It's wild, man. Because what? You're going to lose, like, 20 pounds instantly. They is that what it is? Just like fluid and other stuff? I think 20 pounds. Because clo- the baby, like, you know, baby, eight pounds or so. And then I guess placenta, all this other stuff, fluids, I don't 15 think pounds? Maybe 15. And then, yeah. It's crazy. But it comes up. We have a friend who gave birth and like, I mean, a month later, you're just like, it's just like gone. I yeah, guess I with mean, her at least. I was going to say, it Different. depends on the person. but She's young. I just, it is pretty wild. Because, th- th- I mean, you gain the weight so gradually, but then all of a sudden, and, oh, here we go. You On lose average. 13 pounds. Wow. That's 13. I mean, could you it's imagine like just within gotta be such a, a few hours the body. <laughs> yeah, to lose 13 pounds? It's pretty wild. All right, imagine with me here. You're on Mars, and you're plummeting to the, the surface. Gravity is pulling you down. But then, as you're being pulled down to Mars, you have your baby. And that's the only way you save your life. Because with the baby, you're going to be too heavy. You're going to get crushed. But then you lose 15 pounds and you survive. Somebody write it. Pretty good movie idea. Yeah. Wow. That's, the, like, it's one of those like, mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. 127 hours. The whole movie is the arm thing. It's like it's just 90 minutes of what's the game plan. As plummeting. We plummeting. How are we going to do this? How am I going to like, you know, brace my fall and protect the baby? Turns out. Just have it induce yourself. Yeah, in the sky. She's pumping and stuff, and <laughs> wow. just trying to get it going. Yeah, that's and I'll, just the like kind of just the the force that comes from pushing it out. Kind of, it's like a rocket booster. It kind of like <laughs> uh-huh. shoots you up just a tiny bit. Mm-hmm. When I've it heard does that happens. Happen. I've heard that happens. But in you the have to burrow the baby into that's why they strap- a spacesuit. <laughs> uh, yeah, or just get an oxygen mask on it. Pretty yeah, soon. Yeah. I don't know the atmosphere there well they mm-hmm. say well like you said they, we talked about this the baby's it, the baby has gills right now so you just birth it into water and it mm. can still operate i see before it loses its tail mm. mm-hmm. yeah wow evolution fun movie wow fun movie don't yeah they strap the mom in like a kind of a seat belt that way she doesn't they, so they don't go back into the wall <laughs> yeah no <laughs> mm, no 
Oh, I thought they did. Uh, I recently learned that uh, we're getting birth at a hospital, correct? <laughs> I've heard there's something uh, called a yes, birthing you, center. You should. <laughs> yes. You What's know the where difference? It is? I think a birthing center is just a, an area on a woman. Is that what it is? It's the womb. That's the birthing center. <laughs> birthing centers are sometimes <laughs> attached to hospitals. How is it different? Uh, a lot of times they just have more, like they'll have like a tub if you want to do a water birth or um, less, I guess. Such oils, diffusers. And less interventions. And then if you need the medical intervention, it's just, you know, right next door. They got like. Oh, interesting. There's like. There's like a, there's like a valet, but it's like for your horse and buggy or something. It's like if you want to kind of go old school, yeah. And then you're like, you know what? I changed my mind. Get me over to the new school. N- n- not kinda, quite. Yeah, not I think quite. That's it. But yeah, mm-hmm. different cities vary. I think you go out to the West Coast, and the birthing center looks a little different. Mm-hmm. Hey, we got you know water birth, natural birth. We got a witch on standby if that's your thing. Yeah. We can up play Sam, Salem. Sam Smith if you want. Yeah, yeah. Some Salem going. <laughs> That's cool. I don't know about the birthing center. So it's a little like slightly counter cultural a little bit, right? Is that like birthing center doesn't do traditional births? Well, do they, they do the pure, the, the truest of a traditional birth where oh, there's they do. no old school. Like, yeah, oh, okay, they okay, just, okay. it's just like less interventions. Got it. So. Like, uh, it's like buying a Hulu plus or something like no ads. Like yeah. I want non-interrupted yep, birth. Yep. yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Peacock plus. Yeah. Got it. I mean, and I'm kind of saying all this. I've never like really looked up one before. But you haven't given birth to one. I have not, so it's good to know. Un- unsure exactly, but I guess we'll see. Neither have I. I might go check it out while I'm there. Yeah, is that where you're gonna accidentally take me, or you know <laughs> yeah, where you're yeah. supposed to take me, right? Sure do. Okay. Yep. Let's let's hope so. We got the snacks. I'll be ready. Good. Good. Man, I will be ready. It's coming soon. That's gonna be a crazy day. It is. I'm excited. You're going to, and then Katie will be back. You'll just be doing the podcast with, with him sitting right there, you think? or Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Hope, I mean, you apparently are like a baby genius and have read one book, so he will be able to sleep <laughs> right, through it. Right. So. True. Yeah. Can't wait. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Derek, how old? Hour 10. Hour 10? Wait, you have... You have a third kid on the way. Not third yet. Third one on the way. Yeah. Wow. Uh, a May fifth. May fifth. Ah. Well, yeah. I'll be happy to give you some tips because by Appreciate then it. you'll be. We'll have him ready. Yeah. Yeah. Because be he his, he's already had two kids, so he probably doesn't know that much. Yeah. 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 Forget. You know. Yeah. <laughs> People forget. Okay. May fifth. Um, that's fun. Brad had bow on May fifth. Say go to my bow. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> That'd be. That's fun. what they call him. Uh, that's it's kind of what I do. Sing it a mile. Katie, do you want to celebrate that just so I'm uh, Yeah, let's we'll celebrate page. it. You mm-hmm. want to do low-key or just traditional? Traditional. Traditional or low-key? Mm. <laughs> traditional. Or... <laughs> cool, let's all right, deal. Uh, all right, y'all. We'll wrap it there. Katie, best of luck. Uh, maybe next. Maybe it's happening next week. We don't know. Yeah, this could be my yeah. last one. Thanks for all the love. Uh, check out those added shows. Let us know if you want us to come to your city on the podcast. And, uh, we'll tour. go anywhere but Ohio. That's right. No, best Very of luck Ohio. to you guys, Ohioans. I hope it's going okay. Like, subscribe. Appreciate it. Peace. Correct opinion.